Okay, let's work some examples. Uh, I'm going to skip this. Uh, we, uh, you won't see anything on this type of question, so don't worry about it. Um, uh, let's start with this second example here. And it says that a stock is expected to pay a $1.25 dividend every quarter, and the required rate of return is 9% per annum. What is the price you would expect to pay for the stock? Okay, so we uh, what we're gonna what we have to do in any of these stock questions is first identify the regime and then second we just apply the appropriate model. Okay, so uh, it says that a stock is gonna pay a dollar twenty five every quarter. We don't see anything about a growth rate. Uh, we don't see anything about a second type of dividend regime where the dividend switch to be something else. So we recognize this as the constant dividend regime. And we know that we value this stock using the standard perpetuity model. Right? So the price is equal to the present value. And the present value is equal to the dividend, the first period's dividend, divided by the growth rate. I mean, divided by the rate of return. Right? Now the first dividend is $1.25, and so is the second and the third because these are constant dividends. And the rate is 9% per year, but the dividend is paid every quarter, so we need to convert our rate to be a quarterly rate. Now remember, there's no calculator function here, so this it all needs to be done uh, by hand and we calculate the price of the share of this stock to be $50 to $5.56. Okay. okay, the next example says, suppose you are buying a share of stock for $76.35 and require a rate of return of 11%. What is the expected dividend per year for the stock if we know that the dividends remain constant through time? And this is just asking us to rearrange the formula and solve for a different piece, right? So if I know that the price is equal to the dividend divided by the rate, and I am given the price and the rate, I can solve for the dividend. And I do a little, little bit of algebra here, right? 76.35 times 11% gives me the dividend, and it gives me the dividend to be $8.39. The next example says that Firm A just paid a $2 per share dividend and then announces dividends will grow at a 5% rate every period after that. If you require a rate of return to 20%, what is the price you would be willing to pay? Right? Now, we now see a different sort of problem where the firm has just paid, so they just paid that to us, let's say yesterday, $2 per dividend, and they're telling us that following this uh, payment yesterday, the rates are gonna grow, the dividend's gonna grow 5%, right? So we know now that this is a constantly growing regime, and that the model for a constantly growing regime is the model of a constant, uh, of, of a growing perpetuity, and so we use the dividend growth model, where the dividend growth model says that the price of any share of stock is equal to the next period's dividend divided by the discount rate minus the growth rate. And so the key for us in these problems is to identify the dividends that are given and the dividend that we need, right? Uh, and what I mean is that if we have our timeline of dividends here, the price is here at time period zero. D1 is here at time period one, right? And we may have been paid a dividend, right, previously, and that would be D0. And that's what this says. This is the firm just paid a $2 dividend. So that means this is what we call D0. This is the dividend that we have already received, and I just, I think the best way to think about it is like this happened yesterday. So you just received the dividend yesterday and they're telling you that the dividend that you're gonna get in a year should be 5% higher. That's D1, okay? So to solve the model, you need D1. In the problem, we are only given here D0 and that means that we have some calculation to do. We need to calculate D1 by estimating the growth of D0. 
So D1 is equal to D0 times 1 plus the growth rate. And D0, the dividend that was just paid was $2. The growth rate is 5%. And that means that the next dividend that we are promised should be $2.10. Okay. Now we can plug that into the model and solve. The price is today is the next dividend that we should receive divided by the discount rate, the required rate of return, minus the growth rate, and that should give us a price of this share of stock of $14.